Ah, this is great. Um, let me just check to see if this works. Montreal. Okay. Montreal. All right, now it works. Just for laughs. All right. Great. So that works. Man, I love Canada. I love Montreal. I am fascinated by Quebec. I think it's so weird. I <laughs> truly, I love it. I think French Canadians get a, have a bad reputation. Like, it's unfair. Like, a lot of people think you guys are rude, and I don't think that's true. I think, if anything, French Canadians just have, like, a scary confidence that exists nowhere else in Canada. You know what I mean? For example, this is a perfect example, was I was here in Montreal last summer, and I went into uh, Tim Hortons, not to brag, I went to Tim Hortons, and <laughs> I went up to the counter, and I asked for an iced coffee, right? And the guy behind the counter, he rolled his eyes at me, and he went, ugh, is it the iced coffee? <laughs> right? And I don't speak French. I was like, I'm sorry, man, I don't speak French. And then he rolled his eyes again, and he went, ugh. We do not serve iced coffee. And I was like, all right, man, no problem. Uh, you do speak English, though. Okay, that's interesting. Because <laughs> just normally when someone speaks a language to you and you understand it, then you just speak that language back. <laughs> you know? That's sort of, just sort of how communication has worked for 100,000 years. You don't throw out a second language out of nowhere like a lunatic. <laughs> but it's scary confidence, that's what I mean. Like, no one else in Canada, anywhere else, it does, it's not like everyone I've met from any other province, they don't act like that. They're like, most, this is my impression of anyone I've met from Canada outside of Quebec. They're like, oh, sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry for saying sorry. You know, that's, all they, that's how they act. <laughs> but in Quebec, people are like, oh, you don't speak French? Fuck you. <laughs> I love it. In fact, if you go to any store in Canada, anything you buy, like toothpaste, potato chips, tampons, everything's bilingual. Like, that's how scared they are of you. <laughs> that's amazing. That would never happen in America. Let's say in Nebraska, everyone sp spoke Portuguese for no reason, right? And then once a year, Nebraska was like threatening to secede and leave the US. We would be like, yeah, fucking go for it, Nebraska. Good luck, you're nowhere near Portugal, you know? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Shout out to your boy, Stephen Harper. All right. Uh, it's very exciting, I just got engaged recently. Thank you, thank you. Uh, to a woman. Mm -hmm. She's great. Uh, we live in LA, uh, Hockey Town, USA, Hockey Town. Um, <laughs> I know, that sucks for you. We keep winning hockey and no one cares. Uh, no one cares. It's great though. We live in LA. My fiance, she, she works in New York. She goes back to New York a lot for work. And so uh, a couple months ago, she was in New York working and I was in LA waking up, you know? And I got out of bed and I, I don't want to sound like I'm being boastful, but I got out of bed. I had the most exquisite morning wood I've ever had in my life. Like, for real. I looked down. I was like, holy shit, that's as good as it gets. That's my Helen Hunt, you know? And so I was like, I got to do something. So I ran over. I grabbed my phone. I took a picture of it. I've never done that before. I've never taken a dick pic. I've never sent a dick pic. I don't know dick pic etiquette. But I was like, I know I need to share this, right? So I closed the camera and I called my fiance at work. And she picked up, she's like, hello? And I was like, hey. <laughs> um, so guess what, big news. Um, I'm gonna be sending you a picture of my, my dick, my hard dick. And she was like, don't. <laughs> and I was like, right, right. So, that's just a little peek into our relationship. <laughs> Thank you. I was at a party recently in LA, and uh, there's a guy who walked into the party who I had gone to high school with. I hadn't seen him in like 10 years, and uh, 
I went up to him, we started talking, catching up. We we're talking about high school. We started talking about teachers and girls and stuff. And then we started talking about dogs. This guy just uh, adopted a dog and he's showing pictures, his little black dog. And I love dogs. So I was like, dude, I love dogs. I have a dog. I got a big, beautiful white dog. And he was like, great, can I see a photo? And I was like, yeah, of course you can. <laughs> mm-hmm. And so I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I pulled my phone out of my pocket and I opened it. And the last uh, picture I had taken was of my erect penis, right? <laughs> Literally, he's like, can I see your big white dog? I was like, yes, you can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nightmare. Total nightmare. I didn't know what to do. I panicked. I was like tapping on the screen to make it go away, but that just made it bigger, you know? <laughs> and my impulse, I wanted to be like, no, you don't understand. That's my dick. That's what I wanted to yell. That's my dick. Didn't want him to think I had some other dude's hard dick on my phone, you know? Like, perfectly lit, like so well lit. And I was completely spiraling. I didn't know what to do. And to his credit, he kind of took control of the situation and he just kind of grabbed my shoulder and he was like, look, man, cool dick, bro. Cool dick. <laughs> and I was like, thanks. Uh, Montreal, you guys have been great. Thanks so much. Thank you, thank you.